Hey Scorpio, welcome to your November 2022 love reading with Alexander Tarot. This is a collective love reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Welcome back if you are returning to my channel. And thank you for your support of this new YouTube Tarot channel. I appreciate you guys. It helps this channel grow. Appreciate that. Um, if you are new here, welcome as well. Perhaps you will let here if the spirit has messages for you. Course watchers, you're welcome. And the roles may be reversed. Please flip them as needed, if needed. <laughs> Never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys. Okay? So I'm going to see what's going on between you and your person. The person in your energy. The person that you are connecting with at this time. The person on your mind. The person perhaps in your heart. All right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your current energy, Scorpio. I'm going to pull your person's current energy, your cards, your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading. I will also be pulling advice cards and oracle messages. Okay, so let's get this started. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, show me, Scorpio. We're going into November 2022. Time is fluid. Whatever time that you first put in this video is the time to receive these messages. Show me Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio's current energy. The current energy is the Ten of Swords. Your person's current energy is the Four of Swords reverse. Okay. Okay, so let's get into it. Challenges. the morning time in New York City. All right. Your current energy is a ten of swords. I just feel like right now you kind of feel at your rock bottom, feeling completely overwhelmed in a situation. Just feeling the energy of feeling defeated at the moment. In some sort of situation, okay? Your current, your person's current energy is a four of swords reverse. A lot of sword energy. A lot of air energy. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be connecting to an air sign. Um, your person's trying to heal. They're trying to find their mental strength and just trying to recover from feeling where you are at this very moment. I get the energy of isolation with your person too and they're just trying to get out of that isolating energy and just trying to renew themselves, okay? So here you are in the rock bottom, defeated energy in your person is trying to come out of that situation, that energy, okay? So, in the past, I have the Queen of Wands reverse and the Six of Cups reverse. There's been some challenges in this connection, and I feel like someone in this connection was very selfish with their energy, just causing problems, um, a lot of jealousy, a lot of insecurities, and it's all because of the low self-esteem issue this person has. Cause this person to be very spiteful. Um, with the Six of Cups reverse, I get someone trying though to let go of the past. So with that being said, I feel like they were being very jealous and um, selfish and temperamental and secure about things that went on in the past. It could have been from their childhood trauma or past relationship insecurities um, or something that happened in this connection in the past. But they, I get the energy of just letting go. Someone letting go. Trying to let go of the emotional hurt and the bad memories. Again, childhood issues with the Six of Cups reverse. In a current position, I got the Page of Swords and a Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy.
So what happened with this Ten of Swords? Why is that here? Because with the Page of Swords, I get someone trying to communicate, speak out about something, feeling restless about it and trying to be honest. And with this Devil Reverse, someone who's recovering from addictive behavior, detaching from that. I guess someone in your current position trying to detach from that. But I feel like it's your person because they're in the Four Swords Reverse energy. Whereas here you are in the Ten of Swords energy. Why is this page of swords here, Spirit? Please show me why. There's a need with this Ace of Swords and this Ten of Pentacles for a new beginning in this connection. Mental clarity, trying to commit to this, you know, the commitment, st being stable and committed, you know, a solid foundation here. And this is why someone's trying to overcome addictive behavior, because they want to get the stability in this connection. This is what they desire currently. That's why there's a need of this person speaking out more. But a lot of things are happening behind the scenes too. They're not necessarily just talking to you, they're talking to someone else. It's coming off as stalker energy because they're inquiring about you through someone else. And, and this could be somebody you're with at this very moment. And this person is still inquiring about you to someone else. But they definitely wanna bring clarity into this connection and trying to heal and, and, and you know, just remove themselves from addictive behavior that's toxic, recover from that, okay? So that is the intent in the current, current position because they are in this Ten of Swords energy and they're like, you know, they feel like they hit the rock bottom and they want to improve things in this connection. You're improving. Oh, well, you or your person with this four, well, your person's energy, they're improving with this four swords reverse. They're recovering. They're finding a the mental strength. I feel like you guys have been through so much emotionally and mentally in this connection. I get the feeling of being drained by the drama in this connection. And again, I feel like it's connected to the past. And when in this connection has some childhood issues and some insecurities that they brought into this connection. In the future, I got the Page of Cups and the five of swords reversed. And I get you guys trying to come to a peaceful resolution to end the conflict. I'm getting commu better communication, compromising. Someone's apologizing, there's a page of cups. There's, you know, someone this connection is gonna receive an apology. It may even be a love message or something or some sort of happy surprise, like a gift or something. But this is, this is beautiful. There, there's a desire to fix this connection Okay, that's nice, Scorpio. So your challenges are the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress Reverse. There's a lack of self-love here and, you know, negligence. Um, so your challenge is to work on your confidence and to manifest success and progress in this connection. There's a karmic cycle. So your challenge is, is to focus on yourself and work on your confidence and know that this is your soulmate and you guys are destined to be together. But you have to believe in the change. You have to believe in the progress of this connection and keep moving in that same direction where there's good karma and there's progress. There'll be like unexpected changes, but positive ones. But it's like, you gotta manifest it. You have to move into your empress energy because there's still a lack of confidence here. And that's the thing that can cause disharmony in this connection. It can cause negligence again, this insecurity that was causing issues in the past. So I'm getting the energy, perhaps Scorpio of you, having the, the insecurities that were coming into this connection that you're letting go of, trying to let go of. It is a process. Your relationship has been tested tremendously for you to be in tennis sports energy currently. 
But the good thing is I don't get a combative energy with you and your person because they're in four of swords reverse. So it's like they want to, you know, recover from this. Spirit, please show me in three cards Scorpio's person's um, intentions in this relationship. What are their intentions, please, Scorpio's person? They feel like that you have a lot of problems right now. They're very concerned about this connection. They're just over. They're just trying to build their own mental strength and recover. They're trying to heal themselves. That energy is not of healing the connection. That, that force was reversed. Is an energy of them trying to um, heal themselves. And they're seeing a lot of toxic behavior in this connection. So they're concerned. They're not really sure if you guys can make it. I got the justice reversed. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords reverse. Again, you could be connecting to an air sign. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person feels like there's a lot of false accusations, not being treated fairly in this connection. There's a there's an imbalance. Um, they feel betrayed by you with the Seven of Swords. They feel betrayal. They feel that you're being deceptive. That something's going on that they're not completely aware about. Um... And they just feel like it's causing a lack of progress with the Six of Swords reverse. They feel like the connection is very unstable because of the, the difficulties and the conflict. This person feels like in this connection, they feel like this connection is defeated. They feel defeated in this connection. That's why they're working on their own mental health, their own mental strength to recover from the remnants of this connection. They feel like, in a nutshell, they feel like what has taken place in this connection is toxic. Okay? That's what they feel right now. They're like, um, this is just unstable. I'm just trying to focus on building my mental strength. So what advice do you have, Spirit, for Scorpio? In three cards, please. I have the Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Seven of Pentacles. If you want a victory with your person, with this chariot, you have to put in the work. You have to change how you think about things. You have to think, you have to change your approach. What you put in is what you get out of it. There's a, there's a need for effort with the seven, seven of Pentacles. You have to manifest the results that you want. There's a need for a reciprocity. I'm sorry, guys, it's early. With the Six of Pentacles. There's a need for you to be gen generous with your person. There's a there's a need to be supportive. You have to be fair in this connection. You have to find balance with your person. You are the only one that can bring balance into this connection because you're the one who's caused the imbalance. And I know that's tough love, Scorpio, but you know a lot of insecurities and a lot of pain from the past has caused a breakdown in this connection stemming from you. I'm saying this with love. So there's a need for you to be kind and supportive with your person. This person needs equality. So again, there's a lot of work that needs to be done for you to overcome the obstacles in this connection. You need to take control. You need to take charge of this. You have to work on your self-discipline, your behavior. You have to think before you act. Start making emotional decisions. Start making logical ones. It's going to require hard work. I can't even front on you, Scorpio. But at this point, it is because once your person gets their strength, because they're finding their mental strength, they're going through this renewal, this recovery, they're healing from the burnout of this connection. And once they get into that power, they can easily say, I had enough. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to strike while the iron's hot. That is the advice that I have for you, Scorpio. You don't want to lose this person because... I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. It's just that they're like, what is this? This is not feeling like love. This is not feeling like love in return. This is painful. Okay. So um, I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to pull some more angel nut cards for you guys. Okay. See what's happening. I got 
about your person's current intentions. I want to know your person's current feelings completely. Um, Spirit, show me, show me Scorpio's person's current feelings. What is their current feelings for Scorpio? What are their feelings? I mean, we're, we're aware that they feel like you need to work on your shit. But, yes. Oh, my God. There's so much trauma in this connection. I don't even know why I pulled three more cards. The Three of Wands reverse. The Ace of Wands reverse. The Hierophant reverse. Um, a lot of reverses could be connecting. Uh, there's, there's Taurus energy here. There's a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this, there's a lot of foolishness going on with your connection. <laughs> your person feels there's too much foolishness going on with this Hierophant reverse. Um, It's like there's nothing happening. There's no action going on to fix this connection. There's um, a lack of progress, which is three of wands reversed. Um, your person feels like you're holding on to the past. Okay. This connection is failing because of you holding on to the past. Meanwhile, you're trying to let go. But this person feels like because of what's happened in the past that there's a lot of doubt as if this connection can grow out of this. Um, this. They feel very disappointed in where you guys are now and feel like there was a missed opportunity for y'all to make shit right and y'all didn't. And it's just foolishness. So this person doesn't have any confidence in this connection. No confidence because of all the bullshit that went on. All right, so, wow. <laughs> um... I'm not really quite sure what happened to you. What about all these childhood issues in the past? What are these childhood issues in the past, Scorpio? What are they? Someone in your in your life was very judgmental. Very ruthless, very controlling of you. And you, and you failed to defend yourself in those situations. You just let it happen. So you feel bad that you allowed yourself to be so disrespected by someone. Someone who was cold. This could have been an ex. This could have been a parent. But it was somebody that was irrational. There might have even been something physically violent happening in that connection. This person was super harsh and I felt like you, you were in a position where you just felt like you let it happen because you didn't feel you could defend yourself. Um, you are trying to heal from it though with this Five of Cups reverse. Trying to release the emotional baggage. baggage trying to move over. You're trying to heal. You are trying to heal, but it's tough. So yes, this could have been, um, this could have been some sort of domestic violence for some of you. I'm getting domestic violence. Uh, that was a direct message. But even if this person didn't hurt you physically, they hurt with their words. They were brutal and you were defenseless. So I get the energy of you being really young when this happened. This person like putting you down, emotionally abusive. And you felt defeated. I, I, I feel like a really, really youthful energy. And this is the thing that you're having problems with now because there's all these insecurities and there's low confidence because of how this person treated you like you were nothing. Wow. Well, your person, you know, they love you. There's no doubt for that. It's just that there's too many challenges in this connection with because of the remnants of what you went through in those years. There's a need for, for some sort of therapy. Okay, this is a very, very specific message, guys. All right, so Spirit, please show me the messages, please, for the In Your Romance Angel cards. Scorpio, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so there's a need to focus on your finances. Okay, that might be affecting this connection. Perhaps you guys are invested in each other financially live together, maybe some of you are married, children, child involved, those kind of expenses. 
let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? There's, a, there's this energy of trying to control things, but the more you do it, Scorpio, the more that things are out of control. And the reason why you're trying so hard to control things because you weren't in control in what happened to you in the past. So anytime someone steps in now and, 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 and they give you that energy of having things together and they want it a certain way, you your defenses come up. And you try to take control of the situation because you feel like if they're controlling it, then it's going to end up hurting you in some way. But that's because that's connected to your past. The person with you is not trying to hurt you. Okay? And when you do this, you're hurting the, the connection. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This person... For some of you, this person is somebody that you were about to be engaged with too. It's heading into something more stable or was. It's ascending. So there's an engagement on the way if things are fixed because this person, again, your person's finding their mental strength and healing. And if their heals energy can change them into a different person and you don't want to lose this person. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So with that being said is, your, your person needs to feel loved by you. They need to feel that you love them. It doesn't matter how attracted you guys are to each other. Your person doesn't feel the love that they're giving you, then this relationship won't last and it won't be headed into this engagement. For some of you, you might be engaged already to this person and they're second guessing this connection, this, this engagement based on the behavior. And they're like, Again, I'm getting this, this is not love. This doesn't feel like love because they need you to reciprocate, reciprocate the energy that they're putting into this connection. And they're starting to realize that that's not happening. And sex can't fix that. Okay, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek, yep. So I'm getting a very, very strong energy that you guys are with your person at the moment. All this shit is going on. And your person's losing faith in this connection because of all the issues. So, you know what you need to do to fix this? You have to continue healed, healing. You have to bring balance back into this connection. Um, again, I highly recommend um, some sort of therapy to help you with the trauma from your past. And I'm really sorry to hear that, Scorpio. No one, no child should be treated this way by anybody. Okay, so. Um, but this person does love you. So, there's a need for you to work on this connection. Heal yourself. Okay, there's a lack of self-love with this Empress Reverse. Heal yourself. Okay, things could change. You have the Wheel of Fortune as your challenge. It can happen, but you're going to have to make it happen. This is going to require you and your person to come together and put in a lot of work. All right, there's like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's needed between you and your person. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yep, there's a threat of a separation with this person. And I told you that. I said this person is healing. And th with the cards that I pulled about their current energy, you're going to lose them. They're going to walk away if the narrative doesn't change in this connection. So you got to step up. You got to you gotta strike while the iron is hot, Scorpio. Okay? So those are the messages that I have for you, Scorpio, for November 2022. Thank you for tuning in. If, these, if this reading resonated with you, Please let me know by commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, any of those things. I really appreciate you guys. Scorpio, I wish you so much healing in this process. I really do. And I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.